His name is Juma Khan. He was turned in by a neighbor who suspected him as Taliban. U.S. Marines found ammunition and a trigger device for a homemade bomb in his yard. He spent two days in a cell in Helmand province in Afghanistan. At 5 p.m. on a Saturday, he was to learn his fate. This is Elizabeth Bumiller for the New York Times in the hamlet of Mian Poshte, Afghanistan. Only months ago, Marines here in the Taliban heartland fought against villagers like Mr. Khan. But today, as Washington and Kabul move toward reconciliation with senior Taliban, Marines are reintegrating insurgent foot soldiers on their own. This is Ashura, a meeting with village elders. How'd you come, Muhammad? I'm going to photocopy this. Captain Cuomo, the commander of Fox Company of the 2nd Battalion, 2nd Marine Regiment, will attempt to negotiate an agreement with the elders. He will ask them to sign a promise that Juma Khan will not return to the Taliban. Juma Khan is brought out in front of the elders and the Marines. Captain Cuomo explains he has been given a second chance. Juma Khan. Juma Khan, all of these elders, your grandfather and every elder from me and Poste and Coste came to vouch for you. Every one of these elders vouched for you. If the ANA, if Lieutenant Gubas, myself, or the AMP ever find you doing something wrong, that's a disgrace to every single one of these elders. But Captain Cuomo stresses that the promise must be kept. We're trained to fight, and we don't mind fighting. There is still plenty of fighting in Afghanistan, but shuras like this are occurring sporadically as American commanders try to persuade the Taliban to lay down their arms. The U.S. hopes the Afghans will settle on an official plan to reintegrate the Taliban at a peace conference in May. Okay. Why did you join the Taliban? As Mr. Khan retrieved his belongings, I asked him through a military interpreter why he had joined the Taliban. It was the force, and also everybody was like with the Taliban. I was under pressure. I then asked him how much he'd gotten paid by the Taliban for a homemade bomb. They never paid for anything. By 6 p.m. it was over. Juma Khan was a free man. He would travel to the district center to meet with the police chief and sign a statement proclaiming his loyalty to the Afghan government. In the coming months, the Marines will keep Juma Khan on a kind of parole. They will meet with him, watch his house, and pump him for information about his friends. I asked Captain Cuomo if he was certain that Juma Khan would not return to the Taliban. No, he said.